Well, welcome back to the studio. Today I'm starting another commission. This painting is going to go to China. I showed you a picture in the beginning of my garden and I showed you my uh, composition sketched up on the canvas. This is Sophia and I painting in my garden. Sophia is a doctor from China. She has been working in the United States for a couple of years doing research and she's getting ready to head back to China. She's also an artist and we have been painting together and just having a wonderful time and so she asked me if I would do this painting for her of us working together. And the image she showed me that she wanted was a picture that I had just taken uh, with my camera on a tripod of us painting in the studio and I also showed you that in the beginning. But the studio is kind of cluttered and, and everything and Sophia also loves our garden. So I said, well, what if we put us out in the garden? And she just said, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. So this is what I'm doing. And I've sketched it up on my canvas with a mixture of mud plus liquid, and the mud is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. I mix liquid in that, and that gives me just a nice deep purple wash that I can sketch in my composition. That's now dry, and now I'm going to start painting. I begin with the background, and this back here is just trees, the lights sort of filtering through the trees back here. This is going to be dark up in the corners so that it brings your eye to the center of the painting and in this garden area, this light then will be back in here. So I just start. These are mixes of, gosh, I've made a ton of different combinations of ultramarine blue plus lemon yellow plus cadmium orange plus a little white and then I've added some phthalo blue into some of those mixtures with extra white and then this lighter is um, ultramarine blue plus lemon yellow plus white. So I just kind of scumble in my tree leaves back here. These are actually Texas live oak trees. Now up here I'm going to have a pot with a vine coming down, flowers and stuff. So. But I want to get my corners established. My light is coming into the painting from the upper right and it's going to hit on the fountain here. So my trees are just I want them to be here and just give a nice dark so that then the colors, the dark green and cool greens here will accentuate the colors, the warmth of the flowers. The image probably looks a little bit odd because it is, I have to put the camera at an angle to do this. I can't put it directly behind me or you would not see the canvas. So these are these are my trees back here. And I'm just coming in with some mixtures of ultramarine blue plus white to cool that down. I want them back here, but I just want that, that color to be cool. Cool colors are your blues, your purples, the warm colors are the oranges, reds, yellows. Now I'm going to put within this, I'm going to put a few little sky holes just to get the feeling of the trees back here. And so we've got a few little openings in the trees. Don't want much because I don't want much light up here to, to pull your eye out of the painting. And this is also jasmine here which is going to be a creamy white so I also don't want to. In fact I think I'm going to just take those sky holes out. Since that jasmine is going to be that creamy white I do want just a darker, darker color up here, so let's just make that. We'll make it variegated back here, but we won't put any real lights back in there. And a few little lighter colors in there. Now, once we get back in here to the garden, center of the garden, the, as the tree limbs come down, there is some, they become, the foliage becomes thinner and so the light catches.
So this, this gives a little bit of light in the center, which will draw your eye back in here. Also bring a little light hitting these trees up here because this is going to be dark on this side of the climbing rose arbor. So we're going to have a little light hitting up in here. blues here in the background that peek through the, the foliage. Get all those little white spots on my canvas covered. On my canvases, I get primed canvases. They are already primed, but I put an extra coat of just white acrylic on them. I use Liquitex Basics white acrylic, and that gives the surface just a little bit of a slickness which is really nice when I'm sketching up my composition because it allows me to just, I can wipe off the, the oil wash if I need to kind of erase. But I like that little bit of extra smoothness on the surface of the, the canvas. Now I am going to go ahead and let these come down here. A little bit of my darker colors in here. And then we'll have a little, few little um, limbs coming down. Let me, this is a mixture of my mud, plus a little bit of white, plus a tiny bit of cadmium orange. This just gives me kind of a nice deep brown. Where am I making my branches? And these come down, and they're just you can easily draw them into that wet paint. And it makes the edges soft. I want this all to be soft and not real defined because I want everything to fall back into the background. Now I'm going to take even a smaller brush with the finer twigs and just put some of these in here. get the feeling of this, the edge of the tree back here. It's just a little light showing through and that will just pull our eye through to the background in the painting. That'll help pull our eye through the painting. A little bit more in here. A few little leaves. And this is a bright brush, it's a square brush, but I can use the corner of that to make the smaller little brush strokes. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my blog. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of the video, the, the uh, website address, I'll say it in a minute, the, blog, the address to my blog. So please visit. You can also sign up for that uh, to receive emails every time I make a new post. You can subscribe, so it's really easy. And I just really appreciate you watching today. You have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you again.